Hey guys, my name's Ben Howard and we're back out here at Pipeline, just trying to see if we can shoot under par out in the blue layout. If you haven't seen my previous attempt out here, I appreciate if you went back and watched that, but basically the goal for this series is I want to try and beat my personal best out here with the ultimate goal being to get under par. Uh, my personal best is six over. If I'm able to beat my personal best, I'll be doing a giveaway, and for every stroke I beat my personal best by, I'll be adding a disc to the giveaway. Just to remind everybody what the discs are. If I'm able to get to five over, I'll be giving away this dyed uh, Paige Pierce uh, Passion. If I'm able to get to four over, I'll be giving away this uh, black on black glitch. If I get to three over, I'll be adding this uh, Aceathon ESP Flex uh, Jawbreaker Zone. If I get to two over, I'll be adding this Matt Bell Tour Series Pillar. If I get to one over, I'll be adding this uh, what was this one? This was a mouthful. Um, Latitude 64 Opto Orbit Ice Claymore, I think. Something like that. If I'm able to get to even far, I'll be adding this Ava Lutsanko uh, Sign Destroyer. And finally, if I'm able to get to under par, I'll be adding this Paul Macbeth Signed Zeus. For this video, we're going to try two things a little differently. Uh, first off, I'm going to be playing this round in its entirety. Normally, I don't have time to film an entire round out here, but today I'm going to be I'm doing it on weekend, so I'll have time to do full 18. And I'll be curious to see if that's better or worse for me. The other thing I'm going to be changing is I'm not going to be talking as much during the round. I think I'm just going to have music throughout the entire round because for one, it's just gonna, it makes the video flow a little bit better in my opinion and. Uh, you can see that in my last video where I had to do that because the audio cut out. People were saying that it was actually a lot better and I, I liked it too. So we're going to try that for this video in the entirety, both front nine and back nine, just to see how it works out. It's also better too because like I've played this course a bunch and most of y'all know the layout, especially if this turns into a longer series. I don't want to keep explaining the same holes over and over again and explaining the same game plan over and over again. So uh, the only thing I'm going to be changing is hole six and nine i'm changing the disc i'm throwing off the t which i have right here i believe this is uh was opto or no it's vip orbit underworld i'm gonna be trying that disc on that line this one's just as flippy as my uh enoch but it doesn't have the late finish that that one has so i want to see if i can get this to hyzer flip into that gap turn and see if it works out better I'm not really too sure we'll find out but yeah, y'all let me know what you think of the changes and if you think I should go back or not. But yeah, let's go and get in the round and see what happens.
से All right, guys, I finished up the front nine out here. I uh, don't really know how to feel about that one. I, I'm five over, which isn't horrible. I've been worse, I've been better, but uh, the funny thing was like my drives were really good and like it's one of those things where like it felt like I was doing all of the hard parts of the game really well, but I was doing the easy parts really poorly because if my putting was a little bit better and my upshot game especially was a little bit better, I could easily be two-ish over something like that. So it just seems like I'm not really focusing on like the parts of my game that feel easy when I need to focus on every shot out here equally. And that's gonna be hard to do, especially on some of those easier feeling approach shots, I, but I've gotta do it. But the game plan feels really good. The only thing I'm thinking about changing is hole three. I might go to a flippier distance driver just to try and see if maybe I can get that to the basket instead of doing the same thing I've been doing, throwing the uh, king, have it hyzering out and give me like a 40 footer. And hole four, I really, I'm tempted to do kind of the same thing, go with a flippier driver and hyzer flip it instead of trying to throw the king flat. I also should have been more careful in that hole because it turns out there was a headwind that I couldn't really feel. And so that was the main reason my disc turned over as much as it did, but I might change that hole up. The main hole I'm definitely gonna change though is gonna be hole six because trying that hyzer flip play just isn't really working. And it's bringing the left side rough into play and that's the rough you don't wanna really be in. The right side rough you can kind of get away with, especially if I'm throwing a backhand turnover shot because I'm gonna get a lot more distance out of it. I'm gonna be closer to the basket. So I'm gonna have an easier approach shot than if I'm early left or even like halfway down the fairway on the left side. So I think I'm gonna try a backhand like Anheuser shot on that instead of a Heiser flip shot. I just have to get a practice round or two in before I try again. But 
Uh, going in the back nine, I do feel really confident. After getting a birdie and having another birdie putt, it actually feels like I can actually birdie some of these holes. So hopefully I can score better on the back nine. And I'd like to be able to stay in like single digits over par, but I think we can at least tie my personal best, which would be two over on the back nine. So y'all wish me luck. Uh, if you want to check out the back nine video, it should be coming out sometime tomorrow. Uh, thank y'all so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and please tell me what y'all think about the changes I made to this video because I'm, I, I hopefully they turned out really good. But if not, please let me know. But y'all have a good one. Bye.